What is up guys and welcome back for today's video in which we will cover the best tips and tricks for ghost recon Yeah, that. I'm not gonna do the same thing that 90% of all the tips and tricks videos do. Like bore you to death with all the stuff that you already know. Instead, I'm gonna show you stuff that will improve your gameplay and accuracy and will make you a more efficient and lethal ghost. And before we jump right into the juicy stuff, I have one important thing to say to everyone who wants to improve their breakpoint experience. If you haven't done it already, go into your menu and turn off the HUD and crank it up to extreme and elite settings. Seriously, you need to turn that off. And yes, it will be hard in the beginning, but it will change the way you play breakpoint and it will make you a better ghost over time. Trust me. Be sure to drop a like and if you want to see more great content, subscribe to the channel and ring the bell. And now let's get the show started. All right, the 516 assault rifle blueprint is different from all the other blueprints out there. You can't buy it and you can't find it in a random place. You have to do a series of side missions in the right order to earn the blueprint. I already did a video on the 516 a long time ago where I explain every step in detail. And if you want the 516 blueprint, I'll link the video for you down below. There is two ways of reloading your weapon in breakpoint. The normal way is to shoot the weapon dry and then switch the mags. The much faster way to do a reload is by leaving at least one bullet in the chamber. This way you just switch the mag and you're ready to fire again. Next up is how to easy get the skill points, gear and camo points from the behemoth defense areas without having to fight them. This is especially important in the early game where you don't have the right weapons and the gear to face a behemoth. Simply switch to the panther class and grab a chopper. Parachute down onto the roof and use your cloaking spray. This way you can grab your stuff there without fighting or alerting the behemoth. Then just simply fast travel to the next one and repeat. Okay, let's talk about the mall DA laser and how Ubisoft messed it up in combination with the night vision. It is so bright that you can't even see an enemy that is right in front of you when you have night vision enabled. That is the reason why I use the mall DA laser only on daytime. And when night falls, I switch to the PEQ 15 laser and it gives me a much clearer image. All right, next up are the turrets that are in almost every base. Of course, you can disable them manually, but when they are already alerted, it's very hard to get to them and to disable them. Anyhow, there is a better way to deactivate them. Simply throw an EMP at the turret and even if you alert the camp, they won't activate. Even when the camp and the turrets are alerted already, an EMP will shut them down and keep them deactivated no matter what happens next. Okay, here's a big one. Single fire is your friend, especially on the higher difficulties. The enemies are more aware and they will spot you much faster. And every missed shot that hits the wall will lead to an investigation or base alert. Single fire would also force you to be more accurate with your shots and not just spray around. Another benefit is that you can conserve your ammo better and you can keep track with the bullets remaining in your mag. If you're not familiar with the base, don't just rush in. Put up your drone and scout the place for drones, turrets, snipers, rocket gunners and so on. Especially when someone is on an elevated position, they usually spot you from far out and pretty fast. Get rid of those first and then make your way in. In Breakpoint we have a lot of useful tools. For example, bullet lure to isolate enemies, flashbangs for larger groups, and of course C4 placed on a generator. And when shit hits the fan, just blow it up and they will investigate the explosion while you are somewhere else. If you are someone that frequently uses choppers, I would suggest you take a look at the Blacklist MK1 or MK2. You can get them for 60 grand in Maria's shop and they are absolutely worth the money much quieter and you can park it on every hill without them sliding down. Next up is the night vision. We all know that the Pathfinder class has the white thermal vision. But if you are sick of the green night vision, you can switch to a white night vision in every class. You can buy this headgear from Maria's shop or you can be as stupid as I am and buy the shit from the Yubi store for real money just because it looks different. CQC is the quietest way to get rid of an enemy. But there is a difference in the blades and animations. The Karambit is a cool looking weapon, but the animation takes at least one second longer than CQC with a straight blade. And if you get spotted, one second can be the difference between a successful mission and getting your ass shot by the enemy. Alright ghosts, I hope this video helped you out and kept you entertained. Don't forget to smash the like button and if you want to see more great stuff, simply subscribe and ring the bell. Have a great day everyone and I'll see you guys in the next one.